Lucy, you know, you don't have to be a weatherman to figure it out. We're on the East Coast. This is hurricane season. Yeah. Even though it's awful out there. Yeah. You know what? <sighs> we gotta find a closet to wait this thing out, because it could get worse. No, you know, they didn't make closets back in these old antebellum homes. I don't think they had almoires or wardrobes or something. Well, I don't need an architecture lesson right now, Miss Librarian. I'm gonna go check the pantry. <sighs> without even trying. That, that's true. I, I've certainly been in that boat before. People have been trying to get rid of her forever. People like all you cute little munchkins? I don't think any of you would hurt a fly. Here, you can read about it. It's in the newspaper. Oh, well, thank you very much. Let me see that. Bells ring as the diminutive republic celebrates. <laughs> oh, gingham girl vanquishes hussy. Boy, that could get really annoying. <laughs> the land of odd rejoices. Uh, what? Is that where I am, in the land of odd? Where else? You saved us all. From what? I, I do have to admit that hussy has tacky taste, but was she really that bad? <laughs> Is what I read in the paper true? The wicked hussy of the East finally bought the farm? Well, mansion, actually. Well, thanks to her. Well, you know, I never quite took flying lessons with a house. Ah! Dead as a doornail. What a fine job you did. The land of odd is eternally grateful to you. <laughs> <laughs> what size shoe do you wear? Uh, well, I wear a seven, but you know, if it's a really snazzy pair, I can... Squeeze into a six and a half. Oh, no need to crimp your toes, dear. The hussy wore a seven, too. Your reward will be the greatest prize in the kingdom. The red slut pumps. Oh, <laughs> hand me down heels from a corpse. You know, that doesn't sound too fun, so I'll, I'll just pass. No offense. Oh, I wouldn't be too hasty turning down the magic slippers. Magic? Whoever wears these pumps can snag the man of her dreams. Siggy, Siggy, do you hear that? This is our ticket to getting the man of our dreams back. I'll take him. Ah, I thought you'd change your mind. <gasps> I am going to take these babies for a test run. Oof. Is it true? 
Did someone really kill the wicked hussy of the East? Well, yes, that, that someone would be me. And you don't have to thank me. And no more presents, please. It's enough that I helped all these little people here. My sister's dead body isn't even cold yet, and you have stolen the shoes from her feet. She's your sister. I Silence! Am sorry, I didn't know. If you know what's best for you, and obviously you don't, judging by your taste in clothes, you will give me back those slut pumps. Lucy, do not remove the shoes. If the wicked hussy of the West wants them, you must be very powerful. All right, listen, dear Abby, knock it off, will you? All right, kid, I realize that you're new in town here, so I'll make a deal with you, okay? You give me back those slut pumps, and I won't turn you into a baboon. <gasps> well, I'll make a deal with you if you don't skedaddle out of here. I'm going to make sure that somebody accidentally on purpose just drops a house right on your head. <gasps> oh, you defy me? You'll be sorry. <laughs> Well, listen, this has been so swell, and I really do appreciate the Fabo shoes, but I really have to be going home. So is there, like, a taxi or a shuttle or a bus or something back to Port Charles, huh? Port Charles? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of it. So I thought everybody had heard of Port Charles, haven't they? There is one man who can help you find your way home, the voodoo doctor at Emerald Hospital. Emerald Hospital? Uh, well, how do I get there? Follow the glitter highway. Take my cars across the street. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate this so much. Siggy, do you hear that? We are going home. Back into the arms of the man you truly love. Oh. <laughs> Follow your heart, Lucy. We're off to Emerald Hospital. Ta. Ta, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 You should have spoke up sooner, Tin Man, before you got stiff. I could barely move my mouth. Well, that's why we've had such... Peace and quiet. <laughs> that was an editorial comment. That's not that his jaw is working again. Well, no thanks to you, scaredy cat. Well, at least yeah, I can I do long division, well Strawberry. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, come on. the horn. Well, pardon me. Oh, and you gentlemen can put your eyes right back into those sockets of yours. Now, I need directions to Emerald Hospital. Which way should I go? Well, actually, we're all going to Emerald Hospital. You are? Well, I hope you're not sick. Just a broken heart. They tell me my heart would never mend, but I'm hoping to fall in love again. Oh, that is so sweet. You know, I have a superior brain. I need stimulation all the time. That's why I'm going to Emerald Hospital, to be stimulated. That's not what I meant. His problem is a closed mind. I have an open mind, as long as everybody listens to me. Well, I can see that both you gentlemen have some admirable qualities, both of you. Excuse me. Ryan, why are you going to Emerald Hospital? I'm, I'm trying to find the nerve to ask this tigress of a nurse I know for a date. Oh. Why are you going? Well, um, I'm trying to find my way back to Port Charles and get back to the man that I love. He must be a very special man to have a woman like you. Thank you. I don't suppose you'd let us tag along with you? Oh, well, why not? The more the merrier. Well, <laughs> what are we waiting for? Then we're off to Emerald Hospital. <gasps> <laughs> now try and getting out of the land of odd with my slut pumps, you farm girl. If you ever want to get back to Port Charles again, you give me those shoes! I can't give them back. They're the key to winning my true love's heart. They belong to me. Well, you don't scare me, you foul gas breath harlot. Hmm. <laughs> what about little Fluffy here? Are you scared for him? Huh? Give her the shoes! Give her the shoes! Oh! All oh, right, fine, you can have the shoes. You obviously need them a lot more than me because you can't get your own man all alone. Don't cut my finger! Well, you know what? I can't get them off myself. <laughs> then what the good witch said was true. The only way to remove the shoes from your feet is if you die. Oh, wait, 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 guys, wait, please. My feet 
are killing me. That must be the wicked hussy's plan to make me walk all the way to Emerald Hospital. That'll be the death of me if I have to in these shoes. Ow! Rose for sale. Tuppence a throne. Wow. Oh, what absolutely lovely material. And gingham, baby. And since you are the 100th customer, if it fits, it's yours. For free? Oh, Lucy, you can't beat a deal like <gasps> that. Say, what's the catch? Oh, no catch, really. And just feel the fabric. <gasps> Not you, furball. <laughs> oh, it would go so lovely with my snazzy new pumps. <gasps> oh. This smells fishy to me. I'm with you, Tinhead. Let's get out of here. No, 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 wait, please. Just one minute. I simply must try this on. Just one teeny tiny minute. I'll be back. Oh. Uh. What does the hundred and first customer get? He gets to go to the funeral of the hundred <laughs> customer! <laughs> Lucy! <laughs> don't put on that dress! Henry, help me! Help! Do something with that axe you're always grinding. Help! I can't breathe! I'll be back. Fancy material will always impress. Come out now, Lucy, without that dress. Oh, 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 oh my! Oh me, oh my! Oh, oh, thank you, thank you so much. You saved my life. But you, you told me all I had to do was follow that pink glitter highway over there. Oh dear, I had no idea getting to Emerald Hospital would be such an ordeal. I'm heading down that way anyway. I'll take you. You could have taken us there the whole time. All the learning is in the journey, you see. Doctors, the, the big chief, we might need an appointment. What's the matter with you? It's that nurse, the tigress I was telling you about. It's her. She can get us in to see the doctor. Now, go on. Now, go work your charms. What charms? I don't have any charms. Maybe you have no guts, lion. Oh, he doesn't need guts. A handsome lion like you can get any woman you want. Come on. You think? Uh-huh, I know. Take a deep breath. Ready with me. Go. Could, could you please direct us to the voodoo doctor? Oh, you bet your sweet whiskers. Here he comes now! Hello. Do you have a question for me? You always wear that makeup out in public? Yes. Goodbye. No, 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 no. That wasn't the question. Well, I charge extra for two. Whatever. Listen, I need to go back to poor Charles to get back to the man that I love, and the good witch said that you could help us. Yes, but first you have to prove yourself worthy before you can return home. What about those rhinestone pumps? Those come right off the feet of the wicked hussy of the East. Now, doesn't that prove worthiness? Oh, killing a wicked hussy should certainly count for something. But I don't know what. Anyway, I want more. Name it. Bring me the stethoscope from the wicked hussy from the West, and I will give you anything you want. <laughs> she keeps it in her boudoir. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have patience to build. See? Wait, 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 wait. How do I steal it? You're a clever girl. Think of something. So, so this 
this guy you want to get back to in Port Charles. He, uh, he must be quite a fellow. Oh, oh, yes, he's the best, actually. He's strong and kind and smart and handsome, and he makes me feel like I'm the only girl in the whole wide world. I simply have to get back to him. Sounds like your soulmates. I think we are. If you have such a tight bond, why isn't he here now? I, I guess I had a good thing, and I didn't really know I had it, and I just let him slip through my fingers. <laughs> I can't take any more. It's so beautiful and sad. That's us, in a nutshell. <laughs> Duck Bordeaux smothered under glass. Yeah, uh, yeah, French cooking is it, it, too rich. Uh, ooh, Cajun blackened duck with duck liver étouffée. Oh, do we have to eat the liver? I, 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 I like, uh, like Peking duck. Stop it! This is not about the duck. The duck is just bait. The real goose I want cooked is Lucy. <laughs> Peking Lucille sounds pretty good. <laughs> hey, you know something with the right wine? Delicious. Don't listen to her, Scarecrow. She is one tricky hussy. This feels pretty good. Stop that, you two. Stop that right now. Lucy, uh, anyone could construe your behavior as aggressive-compulsive or aggressive-aggressive or passive-aggressive or addictive-compulsive at the very stop, least. Stop, stop, stop that psychobabble, okay? He's my friend. I am just trying to save my friend, that's all. Oh, boy. I gotta cool the two of you off. life. She Svengali'd me. I, I couldn't resist her. Well, let's get to the voodoo doctor. Lucy has to get back to the man she loves most. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. Melting is an ugly way to go. Oh, you have no idea. You have a lot of determination. I like that in a woman. Reminds me of one of my ex-wives. I'm always happy to see someone find their heart's desires. Reuniting with my true love fits the bill. Then it shall be so. So, say goodbye. 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 Oh, oh my. Oh my. Well, thank you. You're not only a good witch, you're the best of all. Oh. oh. And, and Lion. Oh, Lion. You are more than brave. <laughs> you, you define courage. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> man. I so hope we can still be friends. Good luck with that man you love. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Are you okay? That kiss just reminded me of someone. Oh, and you. Please don't go. I like having you around. I have to. But you care about me more than you know. That warning to stay away from the hussy, it's because you want me for yourself. Oh!
Tomorrow, when Jill's sister and Tim's brother get together, find out why it sends the tailors into a tailspin on home improvement. Then the new comedy smash on Tuesday returns with a hilarious episode where Daryl's old friend from the hood hooks up with his new buddy from the burbs on the Hughleys, ABC Tuesday. Who will share a passionate kiss? Visit Port Charles at ABC.com and get a sneak peek at tomorrow's show.